Hi there. Today we're going to talk about flushing your tankless hot water heaters. Tankless hot water heaters are fantastic, but they do need to be maintained. Sediment can build up inside of your tankless hot water heater, build up at the bottom, and it could be very corrosive to the inside of the tank. Depending on where you live, the hardness of the water will affect how often you need to flush your tankless hot water heater. In areas with really hard water, it should be done about once every 12 to 18 months. And in areas with softer water, it could be done less so. But no matter where you live, they do need to be maintained. So today we're going to show you the process. To start the whole process, first we have to disconnect the power line, electric power, and the gas, shut off the gas valve. So then, then you have to shut off uh, the isolation valves, hot ones and cold ones. You have to remove the, sir, the caps from the service valves, cold side, and the cap from the service valve, hot side. Then you have to connect the water hose on, on hot side and cold side as well. The hot side. Okay, so, so for the for the descaling agent, you need about two gallons of water to fill up in the bucket. The next step is to connect the pump and place the grid on the bottom of the bucket. The, the kit may or may not come with the grid. Okay, so the pump has to be connected to the cold water supply line. That's where the, the descaling agent goes into the unit and comes back on the hot water line. Once the pipe is connected, you place the pump into the bucket. And also, place the hot water line in the bucket. Okay, every hot water heater comes with the, the inline water uh, filter. So it's important to remove the and then clean the inline uh, water filter. This uh, inline filter can be cleaned easily with that tube brush and replace it. The next step to mixing okay. the desailing the solution with the, with the water. When, when, when all the pipes are connected, you be sure, you're going to be sure open the service valves and hot and cold sides and be sure or the isolation valves are, are shut off. Okay. Hose is placed in the bucket, you can connect the pump to the power outlet. Once the pump is connected, you're gonna, you're gonna let the, the, the descaling agent go through the system 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. After 30 to 45 minutes, we can disconnect the pump. So after disconnecting the pump, we have to flush through the system with clean water. For that, we have to turn off the cold service valve and keep open the hot service valve. To flush the system we have to open the cold isolation valve. So after disconnecting the pump we have to flush through the system to open the cold uh, isolation valve. And you're gonna do this about 30 seconds to flush out all the descaling agent from the system. After, after we flush through the system, we have to close the hot water service valve and removing and remove all the pipes, hot, cold, hot water side and cold water side. Replacing the caps and turn on the isolation valves. Then to restart the system, we have to reconnect the electric line and open the gas valve. So, before you start the process, and if you're not familiar with the whole system, you can make a picture of the gas valve, the electrical connection, and all the isolation valves to be sure when you finish the, the descaling process, you can turn back the same way as it was. So after, after you finish the maintenance work, you can write down the date of service on the maintenance card to see 
when it, when it was done for the next service or whatever.